Uh, OS path exists dpath uh, self type int env data zero. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so actually, first we have to split on a on new line character. So wait, env data. Uh, so we'll say uh, we'll say like uh, all data uh, equals uh, e data read split on new line character. Uh, on new line character, and then uh, env data equals all data index uh, uh, index uh, zero, and then uh, yeah. Oh no no! All data, all data index zero split on space character. Yeah yeah. Okay. All data index zero uh, dot split. Uh, oops, split uh, on space character. Okay. So now, uh, so now we have all data. We have all data index one. We can say. I don't know. We can just say. Uh, uh, all data equals uh, blank. Whoops, I did not mean to capitalize that. We can just say like uh, it doesn't really matter where we put this. I'll just put it at the end here. Oh, I can get rid of these. These ones that were commented out, I can get rid of these. Because uh, that was just a uh, that was just a leftover from uh, from when we used to load the environments. Hey, congratulations on those t to those of you who leveled up. Uh, okay, so then yeah, so like. Uh, so then we'll say if uh, if uh, the length of all data is uh, greater than one, then that means uh, uh, how do I make the background invisible? Oh, for for side quests? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Was I? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Smyrock, Sorry. I I was I was I wasn't paying attention to chat, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm good. How are you? How have you been doing? Uh, welcome back, by the way. Uh, so uh, yeah. How do I make the uh, How do I make the? I assume you mean like the background of the game. Yeah. All right. So this is what um this is what side quest actually looks like. This is a. Uh, this is what you guys are seeing on screen. Uh, the reason that you don't see the bright pinkness is because, uh, in OBS. I have like I have this uh I have this journey journey checkbox journey was the dev name for a side quest so if you see J R N E it means side quest uh so if I disable this like this is like it's not actually turning off the game it's just uh it's just hiding the visuals and uh, what I did is I set um I set a chroma key so using the color key of bright pink if I disable the if I disable the color key you'll see it'll turn bright pink again so this is like what it actually looks like but basically I told OBS like ignore the color pink. Because uh, that's something OBS can do, and uh, and Shazam, Blamo Shazam, you get <laughs> you get uh, you get side quest with a nice invisible uh, fade. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm I whenever I move the screen, I try not to I'm, I try to move it like quickly and in little pieces. Because if I if I well, I might as well just show you. If I click and hold, it freezes the graphics, and then two two two. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, just because I messed up the uh, the log right there. I'm gonna save the data log just in case because I haven't really been paying attention to whether there were other delayed frames yet today. Uh, so new paste. Uh, I'm just gonna check check real quick. Delayed frames are bad for business. Uh, uh, they happen uh, sometimes when I'm dragging the yeah. So this is these ones down here at the bottom are the ones that I introduced just then when I said, when I was giving the example of, like, what it looks like, uh, but, okay, good, those are the only, only ones we've had today, so, that's good. So far, so good. Uh, yesterday we had a lot of them, or, like, we had two really big chunks of them, and I don't know what that means, actually, so, it's a little startling. Oh, my face cam being invisible. Oh, okay, same, same trick. Uh, the difference is, uh, for my cam, I used a a uh, green 
chroma color. And fun fact, I am standing in front of a big green sheet. <laughs> so instead of uh, instead of bright pink, I used green, and then same trick. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I guess that was the more obvious question, right? Like when you asked that, like that was probably the more obvious thing for what you're asking. But um, I, can, I guess I just tend to assume every question is going to be about game dev. So <laughs> when a question can be about game dev, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I make it about game dev. Um, all right. So uh, let's, uh, all right. So yeah. So, so if the length of all data is greater than one, then I, I guess basically, um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, add in like a, a thing. Uh, I'm just going to say environments have a value called uh, still equals false, because for most it's uh, should I do it as, 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 as defaulting to false, or should I invert it and make it default to true? I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, so still equals false. Uh, and so then if this blah, 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 whatever, then uh, self dot still uh, equals uh, true, capital T true. Uh, yeah, so what does this change actually? Yeah, okay, no, this is, uh, this is easy enough. Uh, so then when we render the environment, all we really have to do is change the, uh, all we have to do is change the, uh, the value of uh, ESP, ESP BG, uh, so yeah, so uh, if, or no, not BG, NG and FG, so uh, if, uh, so if uh, still, if, if, uh, if, if env dot still, uh, then ESP, NG, and FG uh, uh, equals uh, zero uh, G width. Uh, yeah. Uh, else, the, those other things. Uh, so, else. Uh, do, do, do. That wasn't so hard. Assuming it works. And if it doesn't work, then... Oh, God, it was terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, so if I run the script again, then... Uh, if it works... Yeah, okay. See, this is, this, is the, this is the visual effect that I was going for. Uh, so the boat doesn't... Uh, the boat... Like, the layers of the boat don't move. The boat is still. You just pace about the boat. And the and the uh, and the ocean uh, sails by in the background. So this is what this is the visual effect that I was hoping for with the boat. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, uh, but we're mostly there actually. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So a few fun things. Um, we can't. We can't start on the boat. Not yet. We can't just be on the boat at all. The boat doesn't, like, work yet. Um, uh, the boat doesn't work yet. Um, and that's because... Well, for one thing, uh, no events actually take you to the boat. Um... Wait, how does that... Does that just work, though? Does it just, like, straight-up work that... Oh, no, no, you know what doesn't work yet is, uh, is that... Wait, no, maybe it does, actually. Huh. I'm going to... There's not a very good way to test this. I kind of want to test it in, like, the real script instead of testing it, uh... In like a fakey version, I kind of want to just like test it in game, but then I have to like 
mess up the game and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I could, uh, I could try it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I can't wear the color green. Or actually, um, on, uh, what was it? It was on Tuesday. I actually wore the color green. Hold on, I have my green shirt right here. On Tuesday, I, uh, I, by, by popular request, I wore my green shirt. Um, <laughs> Um, which, as you can see here, has exactly the effect uh, that um, that you might have expected. Is that <laughs> it's an invisibility click? <laughs> Here's my cloak of invisibility. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I am amused by that. Um, all right, yeah, 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 so, it, this might just work, actually. I'm gonna bring down the script and just test this out, I think. Oh, wait, I can't bring it down yet, I have to, uh, uh, wait, what do I have to do? Oh, yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll, uh, well, I'll bring down the other script and bring up this script briefly. Uh, so let me prep this script to be not broken. Uh, we'll say this is the original. Oh yeah, I messed up the uh, next ev. No, what do you? Control F. Next ev. Uh, name. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's actually cheat it to be uh, abandoned ship. Or wait, what's the? Uh, what's the? Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I um. Yeah, I'll set this up to, to, to like test, uh, but I won't, uh, I won't, uh, I won't actually run the test yet because, uh, where is Emma? Oh, <laughs> I am Harry Potter and Emma Watson is here. She, uh, no, I'm lying. I don't know where Emma Watson is. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, events. Uh, right. So yeah, cause now there's this, uh, pirate ship events. And, uh, pirate ship can actually take place on the pirate ship. It used to just take place in the river and you had to use your imagination, but now it can actually take place in the pirate ship. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to change some things. I want to change some things. Um, uh, what do I want to change? I want to, uh, I'm basically moving on to a new task, kind of, because I, uh, I need to, uh, so, like, the pirate ship's basically done. Whoa, did they change the UI? This looks different than last time I was here. They must have, like, updated, like, the tags look different or something. Uh, weird. Okay. Uh, jump cut authoring. I need, okay, so still environments are done now. That was the thing that I, uh, that was that thing that I just hooked up, uh, unconnected environments. That's actually kind of hooked up as well. Not a hundred percent. I'm like, I'm going to continue that one still in progress. Jump cut authoring is the thing that I want to, uh, is I want to fix up now because, uh, right now, if I ran the script, like I made it so that this event happens on the ship, right? That's fine. Uh, the thing that doesn't happen yet though, is, uh, the, the broken pirate ship. Right now, uh, right now, if I ran the script, what would happen if I, so broken ship, yeah, that's the quest that I want to use for testing. Uh, so broken, uh, ship, uh, save that. Um, the, uh, oh yeah, is, am I, am I cheating, ev ev uh, the environment, uh, uh, name, am I cheating that? Yeah, I'm che cheating it to ship. I don't want to cheat it to ship. Uh, Alright, so save that. Uh, I should also... Is it fine to just start on a pirate ship? It could be fine to just start on a pirate ship. Someday. Uh, it's not yet, but... Huh. Yeah, right. That's what I have to do for the, uh, the un un unconnected uh, events. I need to, uh, 
I need to... Oh, yikes. What am I going to do there? Ah? Uh, no, you know what? For the... For the uh... Right, so the pirate ship has no transitions. Like, it'll never transition naturally from another environment. So, I was thinking, like... Um... Yeah, no. So, to fix unconnected environments, I think what I need is the jump cut authoring. I think once I add the jump cut authoring, then the 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 rest will be fine. I think. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's do what? Um, all right, I'm going to add. I'm gonna add some. Okay, right now, uh, right now there's a few things. That, like the the format for this data is a little weird, specifically because I started adding in this thing called epilogues, which. Uh, so yeah, so like mirror universe, uh, I have this thing called epilogues, where like at the end of an event, like there can be additional text. Uh, there can be this like additional text here. Um, the thing about that is that hypothetically, I want the uh, jump, I want jump cut authoring to be very adaptable, I guess. So, uh, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, rightful owner. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Extra <X> Cow. <laughs> I think you're pretty hashtag cool, Extra Cow. Um, yeah. Okay. So the uh, so epilogues um, epilogues are text that can happen between events. So if so, just to to run you through this, like what, how this would work if you haven't seen it before. So this is the this is the event text, and then these are the possible outcomes. And uh, so the way these uh, the way these outcomes tend to be, or the way this this uh, so like okay, so here's the here's one that here's an event that we just did recently, right? Your pirate ship drifts on rocky seas, hoist the mizzen about the hatches, blah blah blah. Um, you uh, right because uh, because we got this outcome, ahoy! The vessel cuts through the waves like a rusty saber. It went to quest booty. That was the quest that just happened, the one about uh, the treasure, and you rescued the treasure. Uh, <laughs> uh, so basically, I want to I want to add some sort of annotation, where um, either like basically at any time something can happen, I want to add in the possibility that that causes a jump cut. And so I need some ambiguous form of a, uh, you know, maybe I should just change the annotation here. Like maybe I should just change it so that like uh, instead of having like this this colon here, maybe instead it should just be like another vertical bar, or something like that, and then. Uh, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Basically, I'm just trying to think of like what what's the what's the cleanest way to keep this data. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard. It is. It's <laughs> it's a little hard right now for some reason. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. No. Okay. I'm just gonna say. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna change this uh, this data format. So it's gonna be so that. Uh, so the epilogues are going to be separated by vertical bars instead of by uh, instead of by uh, colons. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so then, uh, so before I do anything, I should I should make sure that that uh, gets updated so that doesn't accidentally break that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's go to the part where we load the events in because uh, we load them in slightly differently now. Uh, Oh, wait a second. I guess that means, yeah, there's there's no epilogues if there's no chain. If there's no quest chain, then there's no epilogue. But yeah. So maybe I should use like something, no. No, vertical bars are fine, okay. Yeah, I was just thinking like, hypothetically if I tried to put an epilogue without a chain, then that would be weird. Uh, but whatever, this is fine. Uh, okay. Uh, 
so yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, how do you level up in this game? Uh, yeah, um, so to level up you, uh, um, it says, wait, d uh, I don't understand the question about, uh, about PyCharm. What is the full question? What is the full thing that PyCharm is asking you? Because uh, I don't think you're giving me enough of the question to understand what the answer is. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, the way you level up in SideQuest is you participate in events, uh, or you just journey. You just you, you do get some experience just for going on the journey, um, but the quickest way to level up is to participate in the events. So pay attention to Trusty Bard, and Trusty Bard will, uh, will uh, let you know what's going on, and... Uh, also, if you ever if you ever miss what Trusty Bard says, you can see the action tags on screen. Uh, will will uh, give you a clue as to like uh, what's going on, what you can do, and uh, yeah, that's uh, and uh, and you will level up. Uh, you will level up. I guarantee it. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah. So the uh, so the event uh, the event loading is nowhere near here. Why am I here? Uh, it's up here. Uh, yeah. So, epilogues. Right now, we sort the epilogues. Uh, yeah, but we, we go with this. But we don't do this anymore. Uh, so, wait, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, so ch data no longer a thing. Outline. Uh, oops. Uh, so, if outline is greater than... If the length of outline is greater than 1... Then, uh, outline uh, index uh, outline index one is what this thing is. Uh, yeah. Wait, what was that thing I got rid of? Ch data. I just want to make sure I'm getting rid of all of the, all instances of this. All right, so. Let's get rid of the first one, and then so instead of ch data, it's uh, it's outline in oops no. Uh, outline index one, and then uh, so if the length of so now actually yeah so now we check if the out, length of outline is greater than two, and if the length of outline is greater than two, then uh, the epilog equals uh, outline index two. Yes, that's how that goes now. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, um, yeah, expert cow, I don't, I, I, like Yakima said, I don't understand what you're, like, what, um, like, I, I don't think PyCharm is going to literally just say dot pi and give you a checkbox. There's probably something written above it or something written around it that will give you more context as to why there's a checkbox. So let us know why there's a checkbox. And, uh, and then we can help you out. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, so yeah, blah, blah, blah. so yeah, now the, uh, so the next thing is that in here, we're going to split outline one and outline two. All right. So, uh, so, oh yeah, yeah. That's, so that's the other thing. Actually, it's not just outline one. It's, uh, so, uh. So what is this? So like uh, ch data uh, equals uh, oh this is a bit hypocritical a hypocritical of me because I'm probably gonna make it go back almost exactly what it was before. So ch data equals uh, out uh, line uh, index one dot split on uh, the colon character. Uh, oh colon character no double colon character. Uh, it can't be something that I might accidentally use in text sometime. Uh, yeah, that was what I was thinking too, Yakimus, but, um, if that's the case, I feel like the answer is no, uh, no, because, like, this is actually, this is something that if dog then pointed out to me, uh, if dog then's another uh, regular viewer, another cool streamer, he streams under the Psydra Games channel, um, uh, yeah, if you, like, hypothetically, if you made, uh, PyCharm the default program for pi files like i don't think that's necessarily what we want to do usually if you double click on a pi file you want the pi file to run right so 
if that is what it is, then probably not. But uh, uh, expert cow HD. It sounds like you actually have. I, just, I don't know. I I don't I don't know that you should necessarily be like doing things. I feel like maybe like not things is a better thing to be doing. Or like, <laughs> it just sounds like you are in a very strange place right now. And so like, I can't give you advice. Like my I guess my advice would be to like stop like step away from the pie charm and just like go live a different life um <laughs> um yeah i don't know <laughs> but because like, like if you can if you expert cow if you can type verbatim what it says in pie charm then we can help you but if you keep paraphrasing and giving us half the information like that's not helpful and we can't help you so if you want to literally tell us what PyCharm is asking you, like if you want to give us that text, if you want to transcribe that text, or heck, even just copy and paste it if you can, then we can help you. But until that happens, we can't help you. Um, so, <laughs> uh, continue on. Uh, yeah, so we're going to split on the double uh, double colon character. So, like, I guess, like, the way I'm going to set it up now is, like, uh, is, like, uh, uh, so, yeah, so if the cave, if the tr cave, uh, like, let's say the cave jump cuts you to the ship, then it would be, uh, then it'd be like that. It, it doesn't jump cut you to the ship. It would, if anything, it would jump cut you to the cave and it doesn't do either of those things. So I guess that's, gonna, that's going to be how I like annotate this, I guess. I think should work. Uh, right. So, so the ship tears off like a demon shark out of Davy Jones locker, uh, compasses. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right. This isn't the quest I want to annotate. Oh, although... Maybe I do. Because, like, uh... Because compasses you say... Oops, excuse me. Compasses you stay on the ship. But, uh... Booty, you actually go back on land. So, booty... River? Oh, no, no, no. Booty takes place on the river. But you don't jump cut to it immediately. You stay on the boat until the beginning of the event. Okay. Uh, so that's actually fine. Uh, save, don't save, doesn't really matter. Right, this data is still well formed. Uh, right, so save that, or don't, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's go back to, uh, the pirate ship. So the, the place we want the pirate ship now is on broken ship. So we want it to be pirate ship, yeah, uh, ship, uh, so, uh, sorry, excuse me, just one second. Uh, do, do, do. uh, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, pie. I used to have pie a lot. At the place I used to work, they would cater pies. They would, there, there was a catered lunch on Friday, and a lot of the time they would have pies. And it was a big company, so, like, you know, a lot of times there was pie left over. And so a lot of the time, I would, like, by the end of the day, maybe I'd have eaten, like, almost an entire pie by myself <laughs> in the break room, alone, with just a fork and no self-respect. Um, <laughs> sometimes. Um, all right, so... <laughs> so this, uh, so pirate ship takes place on the ship. Uh, and then pirate ship, I guess, yeah. All right, so for booty and compasses, you stay on the ship. The difference is that for compasses, you, uh, compasses also takes place on the ship, and then once you land, beautiful lagoon, uh, oh, yeah, huh. How did... How do I make it so that you can jump cut without having a follow-up quest? Because it says it takes you to a beautiful lagoon. And I want that to be the... I want a jump cut here. So I guess maybe it doesn't have to do with the chain. 
Maybe it doesn't have to do with the chain data. Maybe it has to do with the... Uh... <laughs> Thank you for it, <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> So, um... <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I guess maybe, um... Maybe you don't annotate the, uh... The jumps, like, on the chain part? Maybe you annotate it here? But this looks ugly. Uh, like, <laughs> um, oh, wait, I actually, wait, no, I remember what, I, I remember how I was going to annotate these things, for one thing, uh, oops, oh gosh, what am I doing, uh, nope, hold on, wait, so undo, 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 save that, uh, oh yeah, and I have to undo the other one too, so hold on, actually, you know, I'm just going to open all of these in, uh, notepad plus, Plus, it'll be easier than juggling like a million different files. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Right, I remember. I wasn't going to use colon colon. I was going to use like dash dash, uh, oops, uh, dash dash, uh, carrot. Because <laughs> that makes sense, right? Uh, uh, that, you know, that, that pretty clearly indicates a uh, traversal. Um, so, yeah, so split on, uh, on dash dash arrow. And, uh, actually, maybe I, maybe I should put spaces, too. Yeah, why not? Uh, spaces with the dash dash arrows. Uh, and then, actually, yeah, and then the other thing is, I think it actually doesn't even split on this one. Or, I think, I don't think it, I think it doesn't even go here. I think it goes here. Uh. Yeah. I think at the end of the, uh. Because there, there are going to be times that I want to send you places, but I don't necessarily want the chain. Like I want a link in the chain. So there will always be an epilogue. It, like if there's an epilogue, it means there's also a link in the chain. But there can be a jump cut without having a link in the chain. Um, specifically, like for the uh, the compass quest. Uh, so in compasses, uh, you're lost at sea, and you do eventually find your way to land. But then once you get your way to land. Uh, uh, Once you get to land, it should just like spit you back out uh, again. And there's no there's no specific quest that follows that. Uh, it just puts you back on land. So like uh, uh, river uh, river uh, yeah, I think it just puts you back basically where you started. <laughs> um, yeah, for now most of the uh, the the pirate ship quests are probably going to leave you off at the river because that's like the only environment right now that has hey congratulations on the people who leveled up uh the only uh yeah right now the river is the only uh environment that actually indicates water although i do want to do a beach someday so uh maybe once i do the beach they'll that'll be a more sensible that, that would actually be a much more sensible place to find pirate ships and to involve pirate ships but i don't have that yet so someday uh and then uh and then what? Uh, so yeah, all right. I think this is good. So save that. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. Broken ship can lead to pirate ship. Uh, so broken ship puts you on the ship, and that leads to the pirate ship quest. Uh, pirate ship. Yeah, this one's the same. With booty. That the booty takes place in the river. So that way, so that should jump cut naturally, uh, and, uh, uh, so that should jump cut naturally, uh, and then, uh, compasses take place on the ship, but then they jump cut at the end, yeah, I guess. All right, so yeah, so that's this is the correct data annotation. Now let's read in the data like that. Uh, yeah, so I lied. Uh, we don't actually do this like ch data whatever thing. That actually stays the same. Uh, at least we don't do it there. We do it uh, outcomes. Yeah, outline index zero. So outline. So uh, 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 so out uh, data equals. Uh, outlines 
out uh, lines uh, or outline index zero dot split on uh, uh, the space dash dash caret space uh, and then so outcomes equals out data index zero uh, and then if uh, if the length of uh, if the length of out uh, data out data is uh, what am I typing greater than one, then uh, yeah. So what do we uh, we need more? We need to annotate this somehow. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, so we need new. Uh, we need new, uh, what? Dictionaries, I guess? I guess that's how I've been doing it so far. But, <laughs> whatever. All right, so events need, uh, uh, events need what now? Uh, oh. Yeah, okay, so events need, so the epilogue, so they're gonna have, uh, so like uh so out uh outcome uh jumps and equals uh a new dictionary and uh and what else uh out, so outcome jumps and epilogue uh jumps uh equals dictionary uh and let's initialize these uh as per usual uh, do -ba -do, do -ba -do. All right, uh, save that. And now, uh, uh, do -ba -do. so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right, sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just reading a bit about tacos. Good call. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're loading in the we're loading in the event data. So yeah. So in the case that uh, out data is greater than one, we can say uh, out. Or no, what was it? Uh, yeah, outcome jump. Or so. Or so. Sorry. Uh, events index name index name uh, dot outcome jumps index uh, AI uh, equals uh, equals uh, out data uh, index uh, one yeah and then uh, and then similarly uh, so uh, epidata <laughs> Epidata equals uh, outlines two uh, dot split on uh, the uh, space dash dash caret space uh, sequence uh, and then so epidata so yeah so events epilogues blah blah equals uh, outline excuse me or oh sorry not outline uh, epidata epidata index zero and then if uh, if epidata, if the length of epidata is uh, uh, greater than one, then oops, uh, lambda, no, not lambda, uh, then uh, uh, epilogue, uh, no, uh, sorry, uh, events index name uh, dot epilogue. Uh, jumps uh, index AI equals uh, equals uh, epidata uh, epidata index no epid yeah epidata index one yeah okay yeah all right cool so now we actually have to do that though now we actually have to process those. So, uh, it's 
it's easy enough because uh, we already we already know how to teleport. Um, uh, <laughs> what would be more interesting, Swyrock? You mean this? What we're doing would be more interesting if you understood Python? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please ask questions. Like I'm, I, I can't know what you don't understand because. If it didn't make sense to me, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, I can't do anything until it makes sense to me. So if I'm doing something, it means it makes sense to me. But to the extent that you want to know what's happening, please ask. Please, please, please. I even made a little thing that appears in the corner of the screen that says, got questions? Ask me something, right? So, like, please. <laughs> please, please. Um, okay. So, uh... Right, so we have the, uh, so now we have it authored so that uh, I can say when we should teleport based on, like, you know, the outcomes of an event or the sub the, the, the follow through of an, of an event. Uh, I don't actually even plan on using that one yet, but whatever, it's there in case I want to use it. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, what, uh, what else? Um, oh, you know what's fun? I can make outcomes put you on a boat, and then I can make the next event take place not on a boat. Like, you could just be on a boat between events. Like, you're in the forest, and an event happens there. And then you're on a boat for some reason. And then right when the next event starts, you're back on land. I could do that now, if I felt like it. <laughs> So, like, there could be a quest, and, like, the outcome could be, like, the old man tells you to sail across the whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so, <laughs> I don't know. That amuses me. Uh, <laughs> Maybe the beach should be the next environment that I do. Because the beach could connect to the village. Because it makes sense that... Because the river is right near the village. So, it makes sense that the... And I call the river a tributary sometimes. So it makes sense that the river leads to the beach, and then the so that would just so like I I like having the river between the or I like having the village between the river and the beach because it just it makes it feel like a port town, right? It makes it feel more like a uh, like a uh, uh, like a, you know like some place that if a, if an old man told you to sail across the sea like maybe that would make more sense i don't know <laughs> that's what i'm telling myself i don't have a specific well oh yeah no actually the beach might work out okay because i kind of do want it because like the next environment that i make i want it to connect from the village to the cave and i do want to kind i kind of i don't know how it'll work but i kind of want to connect the i want i want to connect something to the cave uh like the beach i want to connect the beach to the cave i don't know if it'll work i think it'd be cool you ever go to the beach, or you ever go to a beach where, like, the water has, like, washed against the rocks so much that there are, like, these caves, like, up inside the rocks? Um, like, sometimes you even have to, like, go, like, under, depending on the tide, like, sometimes you actually have to go underwater to get into these caves. I kind of want to do that. I think that'd be cool. I don't know if it'll work, but I think it'd be cool. Yeah, no, I totally want to do that. <laughs> we'll see. Someday. Um... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's computers is what it is, Spyrock. It doesn't, it's not the language, because like, I mean, like, there are better or worse programming languages, and it, like some people will tell you, but um, it's not necessarily, like, the, the reason that it's confusing is because it's not things that you're, it's, it's not even just how you're saying it, it's that you're saying it to a computer, and computers only understand certain things. They like, they have to understand things, you have to phrase things in a certain way in order for a computer to understand it, so... Um, yeah, so the trick to coding is, like, is, like, f finding the words that a, com that a robot would, would, would be like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> and robots, uh, they just think a very certain way, so, uh, it's about learning to communicate with robots, I guess, is the trick. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, um, so at the end of an event, yes, end of events has nothing to do with it. As it's my favorite, one of my favorite variable names, so I felt like saying it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, at the end of the event, uh, we check if there's a if there's a chain. 
Uh, so if outcome in uh, cur of epilogues keys. Oh yeah, so that's uh, all right. So then uh, let's say if uh, uh, if uh, outcome in uh, cur of dot outcome jumps dot keys. Uh, then. Uh, oh yeah, so this is when we schedule schedule uh, dot append uh, index zero comma init teleport. Wait, hold on. How do I init teleport? I forget. I forget how I send the data through. Is it just zero in it teleport and then the name of the environment or yeah. Okay. Oh, zero comma zero comma in it teleport. Okay. Uh, what is the second zero for? I know what the first zero is for. Uh, <laughs> uh, zero comma and then oh, zero. So I forgot the zero. The first zero is for time. What's the second zero for? I don't know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. So then, uh, so then the, the value is curve dot outcome jumps uh, uh, index uh, outcome. Yeah. Uh, and then there are a bunch of square braces. Wait, that's not enough square braces. That's not enough square braces. There's supposed to be three sets of square braces, but now it's saying there's too many square braces. There's supposed to be three sets of square braces. You weirdo. No. Oh, oh, oh. There's one too many here. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Wait, why is why isn't it teleport like that? Why is there that extra zero? I don't know. Seems to be the case, but uh We literally don't even use it. There's literally, as far as I can tell, there's literally no reason for this extra zero. <laughs> but whatever. That's how I did it. So, uh, <laughs> hey, doctor, how's it going? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, yeah. All right. So that works. Um, I guess just for the sake of stuff, with the epilogue stuff. Uh, uh, I should, what is this? I have no clue. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, oops. Wait, that's literally what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I guess just, uh, so like, if, uh, cur ev dot, or so if, uh, oh, whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, I should set this. I should set this another time. So, uh, epilogue text. Uh, yeah, where with epilogue text? Uh, epilogue text. Uh, do do do. Uh, I'm also gonna. I'm gonna set epilogue location. Uh, I'm just gonna set this up front because we don't really retain the concept of an outcome. At past the end of the uh, past the end of the event, we only we only have the resultant data at past the end of the event. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna have it like this, so that when we have the when we have when we when we check and find when we, when we set the but when based on the outcome we determine whether there is or is not an uh, epilogue. We uh, so if outcome so okay so then uh, if uh, if outcome in uh, cur ev dot epilogue jumps dot keys, then uh, we'll say uh, we'll say epilogue uh, location uh, equals uh, cur ev dot epilogue 
jumps index outcome. Uh, so so basically, if um, if this out if this epilogue is supposed to take place a certain place, then again, I don't necessarily plan on using this, but I don't know. I might want to at some point. Uh, all right. So then when we process uh, so then we process epilog text. Uh, which is where, which is here. Uh, we'll so, so yeah. So if, uh, if, uh, epilogue location, uh, not equals the blankness. If, if it, if there's a location specified, then we will init teleport, uh, to location. Then, uh, so then, schedule dot append uh, append uh, zero comma zero whoops I said oh not zero or I, I wrote oh not zero uh, <laughs> oh uh, <laughs> yeah thank you guys uh, I'm I'm writing in I am writing in Python right now uh, <laughs> the um, <laughs> yeah, I um, I tend to appoint mods when people prove themselves to be like just cool people, because I'm not, I don't have experience moderating, so like I should not be telling people how to moderate. Um, I just uh, I just like do the best I can at moderating, and I'm not good at it. I'm like I'm still getting practice at it but um i don't know if i'm if i'm, if I'm thinking to myself like that person is like you know that person would probably be a good mod i'll just be like eh. yeah they um people don't e people don't actually ask for the mod sorts <laughs> i just kind of give them out sometimes <laughs> i figure um i don't know uh it's like uh it couldn't hurt to have like have uh have good sensible people wielding swords if someone's gonna, if someone's got to wield a sword, why not, why not have like the good sensible people doing it? Uh, <laughs> so init teleport. Oh yeah. So the the location of the teleport here is uh, epilogue location. Uh, and then uh, and then we will set uh, epilogue uh, location uh, equal to empty string because we don't uh, we don't want to keep teleporting to that location accidentally. Uh, so we'll do this in both these cases. Uh, wait, are these, are these statements just equivalent? I mean, these, what is, what, why are, why do I have these written out as two separate things? Why don't I just have it say do now equals say upload away and away mode or do now equals say upload? I feel like that's legit. Uh, or uh, I feel like this is legit. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's legit. I guess we'll find out someday. But I feel like those are equivalent statements. Did I, am I missing something? I feel like those are like completely, like literally equivalent statements. Yeah. No. All right. I'm going to go with that for now. All right, so am I done now? Did I, did we did it? Did we did it? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Do I feel like banning anyone? Hmm. Let me let me peruse the list of of people who we could ban and let's see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I. Uh, I have a lot of if statements. I don't know if if this is why. Uh. If, maybe you're just commenting on the fact that I use a lot of if statements. But um. The other fun thing about Python is that there's no case there's so like the elifs the reason i have this like tree of elifs is because there's no there's no switches uh in python so 
if you want to make a switch in Python, you just do LF, 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 LF. I think this is good now. I think this is legit. I think this is good to go. Uh, what? What? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. I need to treat. I need to. No, what I really need to do is just write quests for the pirate ship now. Uh, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, because I can, um... I, let's test this. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna bring down the, I'm gonna bring down the script, and we're gonna test the fake script for a little while. Uh, so, I'm gonna bring down the real script, I apologize. Uh, and then let's bring up the fake script and see what this does. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Wait, it's actually good that it crashed, because I need to check something real quick. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, whoops. I, um, this is supposed to be parentheses, not uh, square braces. Uh, did I do that other places? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was one other thing that I meant to do. Which is, uh, I'm just going to put in a hack, uh, uh, which is uh, the part where we randomly pick an event. Uh, where's the part where we randomly pick an event? Uh, if outcome... Where's the part where we randomly pick an event? Uh, oh, it's this one. This is right here. All right, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we randomly pick event, and then I'm just gonna say next, uh, next of uh, uh, name equals uh, broken ship. All right, so we're just gonna go on the pirate quest forever, forever and ever and ever pirate quests. Arr. Arr, pirate quests. All right. <laughs> I'm going to kick it into away mode because we're going to test this fast. Uh, so I'm restarting the script really fast. So players probably won't get... Oh, never mind. All right. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, it's not called broken ship. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm about to sneeze, so I'm going to mute the microphone for one second. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right back. Sorry. Just one second. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, wait, what was, the, what was the crash? Oh, yeah, Broken Ship. I remember. It's not actually Broken Ship. It's, uh, right, that's the, that's the, I mean, that is the name, but it's Binry uh, Pirate Ship uh, Broken Ship. Uh, so, yeah, I did that two places. I did that here and, oh, yeah. Um, sorry, let's, uh. Uh, broken ship. No, it's the the other place, the other location. Uh, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's Binry Pirate Ship Broken Ship. Right, that's the full name. Please, Broken Ship's my father's name. Call me <laughs> Binry Pirate. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, don't I find it hard to maintain? If no pun intended, you have a lot of if statements. Um. I mean, I can find it as hard as I want. That's not going to make it any harder, or like it's not going to make it any easier to, uh, to to like to like do it, right? I mean, like it's not like it's not like if I if I feel that it's difficult, then uh, magically. Uh, oh, we need to succeed at this. Oh, so please, uh, please, please repair the boat, please, because uh, uh, we're testing the boat. So please repair the boat. Uh, if you'd be so kind, uh, I can help. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's not like, yeah, so, okay, so, maybe it's hard to, uh, 
maybe it's hard to to write with if statements but like finding it hard isn't going to change the language such that suddenly magically switch statements appear so like i it's it's irrelevant whether i find it hard or not like it 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 really can't matter whether i find it hard or not right it's not like finding it hard is going to make it easier it's not, it's not like acknowledging whether it's difficult is going to make it easier or not and then there's the fact that i actually don't find it hard i think if statements are super easy like what's there's there's nothing complicated about an if statement. Um, like, I think an if statement is like one of those excellent things in uh, in computer science where it actually works how you think it would work. Like, if you if you say someone like if this happens, then something else. People will say like, oh, okay. Like, they don't have to be a computer scientist to be like, oh, causality, right? Um, people just understand causality. Like, causality is a thing that people can do in their brains, like just for being people. Um, so no, I think if statements are great. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting for this event to end. So if anyone has any other questions, then feel free to ask. So, so right as this event ends, if this works, right as this event ends, we'll get, we'll, we'll board our pirate ship. Uh, yeah. So trusty bard will say at the end, and it looks like we're going to finish repairing the ship, right? Cause like we have what, six people on it, including binry bot. Uh, <laughs> um, Gosh, this event's taking forever. <laughs> uh, just, was it yesterday or the day before? Someone mentioned that the quests felt a little bit... Oh, there we go. All right, well, we're not on a pirate ship right now, which is weird. Because I feel like we should be on a pirate ship. Uh, why are we not on a pirate ship? Uh... All right, sorry, I'm going to stop the script. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, I clearly broke something. Uh, uh, script uh, down uh, one sec. Uh, script, script, <laughs> script. <laughs> uh, okay. What the heck? Um... I must have broken quest chains or something. Because, uh... No? I mean... It looks like quest chains are still working. That's what these prints are about. Uh... So if we go to pirate ship... Wait, what the heck? Where pirate, where's pirate ship? Why's pirate ship not showing up? <laughs> oh, they're there. Oh, they're way at the top for some reason. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, pirate ship. So yeah. So. Oh, wait a second. This is only uh, this is only for pirate ship. Pirate ship. It's not for pirate ship. Broken ship. What the heck? Where's uh, where's broken ship? Whoa! It says broken ship doesn't have any quest chains in it, which is wrong. All right, well that's weird. Uh, broken ship. Oh, did I not? No. Oh, I know. What, I know what the problem is. I forgot the space. It's supposed to be pirate ship space dash. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, did I forget that anywhere else? Uh, nope, there was nowhere else to forget it. Alright, there we go. So, sorry, uh, I hope you guys don't mind some pirate ships, because we're gonna... It's, it's pirate ship day. Uh, that's, that's all I can say. It's pirate ship day. Alright, so now, uh, so now in this thing at the top, uh... Oh, wait, I'll activate away mode again. Uh, at this thing at the top, uh, yeah, so broken ship repair pirate ship. All right, that was, that was what was missing. Uh, okay, so if you wouldn't mind repairing the pirate ship, that would be, I mean, don't feel obligated. Um, it's free experience points, so anyone, anyone who, who likes experience points, uh, repair the pirate ship, and you get free experience. That's how it works. Uh, because we're testing, uh, uh, I'm in, in away mode, uh, 
it's we're gonna have a lot of events and they're all gonna be worth very many points so if you like points this is your opportunity uh, <laughs> um, yep I should probably make binary bot magical or something like I should make binary bot have like a million influence points or something like that so that way if I ever need to shift the uh, the course of events I can I mean I, I what I really need is just a dev cheat to like to like rig the vote basically because uh, for like some events I just need a certain outcome and uh, I don't want to tell people don't play the game, right? I, uh, I mean, the game is... I'm testing the game in a live channel, so it's a little unrealistic to think that I, in every circumstance I'd be able to get um, the exact test case, like, run perfectly. Uh, <laughs> um, so, all right, this is, the, this is the moment of truth, you guys. At the end of this event, we should be on the pirate ship. If all, if all went according to plan. I mean, we're fixing a pirate ship, right? Why fix a pirate ship if you're not going to be on a pirate ship? Uh, so, it just occurred to me, like, Trusty Bart, because of stream delay, you're going to see it in chat before it happens on stream. So, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that a little bit. Just because, I mean, not everyone's going to be paying attention to chat, but for the people who are paying attention to chat, like, they kind of hear it coming. Or, like, you know, they, like, kind of get the, uh, the inside scoop, like, it, it's, like, Trusty Bard's like, hey, shove off on your maiden voyage, and then, shazam, maiden voyage. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It amuses me. Uh, <laughs> so. Moment of truth. Oh, come on! Come on! Why not? Why not? All right, I clearly like things don't want to be working for whatever reason. So I uh, what? What do I do? I um oh! oh no, that was cheating. That didn't that didn't work. That didn't actually work. Uh, I mean, part of it worked, which was I mean, like like you know, it could have gone worse, right? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you can uh, do whatevs. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So this is a test that I wanted to run at some point. But um, yeah. All right. So how does the how does the pirate ship look on stream? I guess is one thing I'd be interested in finding out. Uh, it's legit. Uh, <laughs> I like how I'm emerging from the ocean. Uh, <laughs> I guess I hadn't really thought about that one, but yeah, I guess that's how that works. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, I, I won't end the, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to end the script after the event, because, uh, the, the reason we, the reason we're on the ship right now is not because the previous event would have put us there. We're on the ship now because, uh, because this event happens on the ship, um, which is another valid jump transition. Like, um, if... Like, so, if it, so what if instead of, like, finding a broken ship and repairing a broken ship, what if, um, what if, like, the event was, like, uh, you're kidnapped by pirates or something, right? So that would be, a, a, that would be an example of, like, what we're getting here. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so the reason we the reason we're on the ship is not because uh, the the previous event put us onto the ship, but because this event occurs on a ship, and so when the script got to this event and was like, oh, we're supposed to be on a ship, it was like, okay, we're on a ship now. Um, so yeah, so maybe you get kidnapped by pirates eventually, and then that's what um, that's what would be the circumstance, or that would that would that's what would have given this effect. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> um, 
I mean, I guess I'm curious to see, like, I don't, I don't imagine that it'll work at the end of this event. Like, I'm pretty sure at the end of this event, uh, we're just going to be stuck on the boat. Uh, here, I'll take it out of away mode. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to be stuck on the boat at the end of the event. I'd be really surprised if we get off the boat. I mean, because because uh, hypothetically, at the end of this event, we're supposed to get back up to the river, but because the other transition didn't work, I'm assuming this one won't either. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I should uh yeah. So while we're waiting for that to pan out, let's uh. Let's like review what might have gone wrong, I guess. Uh, so, I feel like it had to be with the init teleport. Uh, uh, so like, did we just like have a malformed like init a teleport command or something? I mean, that seems right. If outcome in cur ev outcome jumps dot keys. Well. Hmm. So maybe we're just not loading it incorrectly. Hey, that's a new follower noise. Uh, is it L Raster? Sorry, I can't even read that font. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for following. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, yeah, this is the one that brought us there. Whoa, did we just crash? That could be useful. That could be useful information. Cause uh, maybe this will at least. Key error ship. What does key error ship mean? Next ev I. Wait, next ev I. What was the? Oh yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. That's just because we didn't teleport to the. Uh... Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah, what? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. We choose the, uh... We choose the next event before we teleport. Which is not satisfactory. We have to... Choose, or, uh, we just have to... Right, so that's a bug. Uh, that's a real bug. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, good job, good job, for this awesome. uh, or, uh, or, yeah, good job, everyone, <laughs> uh, <laughs> excellent work, you found a beautiful lagoon, that's the important part, right, no, um, yeah. Okay. So when we're when we're when we're jump cutting on an outcome, I mean we we we're still not jump cutting on an outcome, and that's like a problem. But hypothetically, if we were, <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, let's put in some uh, some debug information to f try and figure out like. Oh. No. 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 I was like, I think I know, but no, I don't. Uh, let's put in some debug information. To figure out what is going wrong, that the jump cuts just aren't even working. They're just not even happening. Like some of them are. The new ones are not working. Uh, so, no, that's for environments. Where's the part where we're reloading the events? Did I pass it? Uh, nope. Where's the part where we're reloading events? Uh... Did I accidentally delete it or something? I thought it was right above the environments. 
What? <laughs> Where did it go? Uh, oh, it's like right... Not here, no. Uh, <laughs> here it is. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that was it. I just, I just kept seeing invalid environment, and I was like, what? No. Um, so... Out, outcome jumps. Outcome jumps. So let's just make sure that this is actually loading correctly. So, uh, so print uh, uh, outcome uh, jump and uh, and then this value. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, wait, it should be, uh, it should be, it should be, it shouldn't just be that, though, it should actually be, uh, name. Uh, oh, name and, uh, and, uh, AI. Yeah. Okay, uh, save that, and then, um. And then, uh, so that's just to check that that's getting set correctly. Uh, so let's also look at, no, I don't really know where else, where else to look. No, yeah, but let's put more like prints other places, like other key points. To make sure that like at least the right code paths are firing, if nothing else. So um, so let's say uh, print uh, 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 outcome uh, jumping. Uh, let's say it's curvev dot name a thing. Name uh, outcome. Uh, and uh, and then cur of outcome jumps index outcome. Uh, do, do, do. But what if this isn't a, this? What if this isn't even evaluating? Uh, then else. Uh, uh, print. Uh, Curve outcome jumps, I guess. Because if if it's not evaluating, then like what the heck is even in this dictionary? Uh, save that. Uh, hmm. All right, excuse me. And then uh, and what else? Uh, all right, I'm just gonna try running the script just to see what it does on load. Does it even like recognize that it's supposed to have these links? These outcome jumps? Yeah, okay, so it does recognize that it's supposed to have them. Uh, so let's try, sorry, like I said, it's a very, it's gonna be a very pirate ship day. Uh, so uh, if, you could, if you could help repair this ship, uh, that'd be helpful. I mean, we don't actually need too many people to do it, but hey, free experience points, right? So, I guess I should have put some debug information. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, So, uh, oh, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, Grigo Lima 97, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, sorry, I was really, oh, it took me a while to say that. Sorry, <laughs> I was really into what I was doing. Um, oh, Banana Monkey Boy, is this going to be a real game? Is anything going to be a real game? I mean, really? Like, really? 
Um, there's no such thing as a fake game. No, that's not true. In movies, like, like sometimes a character, or like in movies or TV, sometimes a character will get like Bone Storm, for example. Uh, and that's a fake game. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if someone made Bone Storm a real game by this point, honestly. Uh, so, what do you mean by real game? I guess is is the question. What do you mean by real game? Uh, oh gosh, these events take forever. Oh, I should put in that thing that I was uh, saying I should put in, because like teleporting works sometimes. So like, what this is a uh, I'm writing in in Python right now. Uh, Python is the language for this game. Oh, did we actually wait? Did the event even end? Maybe it did. Uh, no, Chesty Bard will tell us when the event ends. Right, okay. Because uh, when it ends, I'll be interested to see what debug output we get. Uh, here we go. Outcome jumping. Ship. But we're still in the river. Okay, well that's curious. Oh, we still didn't fix that other thing. All right, why? All right, so everything's going according to plan, except we're not actually teleporting to the ship. What the heck? What the heck? Maybe it's something wrong with teleporting. I think I put in like some protocols so that like teleports like don't happen sometimes. Uh, I'm using um, PyCharm. Is the is the is this program that we see here? Uh, yeah, maybe I'm just filtering it out or something. Uh, in it, uh, no, not that side. Uh, in it, uh, teleport. Uh, do do do. Uh, yeah. So, if in if env name not equals do now. Oh. Does it think env name equals ship or something? Uh, I'm just going to say or true and see if that fixes it. Wait, why does... Uh... Wait, why isn't teleporting... Shouldn't teleport... I feel like teleporting should... Uh... Should reset the... Uh... Phase. I think if we tell, I feel like if we teleport, it should. Uh, oh, it does. It says it says next env name to blank. Yeah. Okay. Great. That was yeah. That was what I was thinking we should do. Uh, and we do it already. So good. Um, so I wonder if that's it. All right. I'm gonna try running it again. Again, feel free to repair the uh, pirate ship. Feel free to ignore the pirate ship. Why are we in the snow? I don't care. Uh, uh, so, repair. Uh, uh, repair. Uh, doop -a doop. Yeah. Farming that sweet, sweet experience. All the experience. Hey, look, uh, Lauren is level 46. Got them sweet armbands, wrist straps. You're gonna be a farmer. You're gonna be a farmer in no time. <laughs> farmer. Um, hey, you're gonna be a pirate farmer. So, uh, this ship's for you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. All right, so yeah, what if this doesn't work? <laughs> what then? <laughs> I mean, one thing I should put in is, uh, is like, uh, is like print, uh, 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 hey, teleport, uh, uh, do now. Let's see what that is. Let's see what uh, env name is. Let's see what env, uh, env, yeah, I mean, that's really it, basically. Uh, do now index two. 
do now index two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so at the end of this event, uh, we should. So at the end of this event, if we do teleport, that means it thought env name had already equaled ship, which is weird, because why would it have thought that? Maybe I'm just typoing something. Maybe it's just like I typoed like init teleport or something. That'd make more sense than anything. <laughs> uh, nope, did not work. All right, so it's not that. It's just literally not evaluating the init teleport, so that would really strongly indicate a typo. Um, sorry. Uh, it'll come back. There'll be more pirate ships. Don't worry, that was not that was not by any stretch the last pirate ship we've ever encountered. So, uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. all right. So, uh, init teleport. I guess if this doesn't take us to the... Oh wait, that was it, wasn't it? Why is it not scrolling up? I'm clicking up, up, previous, 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 you creep! Previous! Oh, you dirty creep! Whoa, what just happened? Add selection for next occurrence? I don't know what that means. Undo, undo. Oops, no, redo. Why is... Oh, man, I don't know. S this freaking, yeah. Init teleport. I did spell it correctly. Schedule dot pens. Cur of outcome jumps outcome. Well, all right. One more time, I guess. For good measure. No, I seriously like. Uh... <laughs> this makes no sense. This makes zero sense. All right, so after we do this, let's uh, print uh, the schedule. Maybe. Oh my cripes! I know what's wrong with this. I'm putting square braces around the zero. No, no, no. No, that's not it. Is it? That's part of it. Yep, no. I know what the extra zero is for. And I'm not supposed to put square braces around it. I'm not supposed to use append. I'm supposed to use insert. Because I'm supposed to be inserting this at the top of the queue. It is getting queued up, but it's getting queued at the end of the queue. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I can get rid of these stupid prints now. Uh, yep. So when I in that teleport, I don't schedule append. I schedule insert. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> so any place that I'm scheduled dot appending uh, uh, colon zero comma. Yep. This is also not correct. Uh, paste. Uh. What are you complaining about? Oh. Oh, I lost a comma. Yeah. What are you complaining about? I don't know what you're trying to complain about. Oh, there's an extra square brace? Yeah, there was. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, right, because this is what this is what I usually. Whoa! <laughs> I should also. <laughs> I should also spell insert correctly. Uh, uh right, that would help. Insert. All right. <laughs> uh, oh wait, wait, wait! I shouldn't spell it right there. I should spell it right in the correct locations. The the place where it matters. Insert. And I did that two places, right? I did that 
Instar insert. But now it should be fine. And now it should work. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother testing it, because it just totally works. Just totally works. So I should get rid of the hacks. Uh yeah, alright, hold on. I'm gonna close uh the clone. The clone is the real script. Uh so the so let's go back here. We can uh we can call journey journey backup. Uh we can call journey clone. Uh the real journey. Close this. Uh file open. Oh yeah, and we have to take out the, the hacks, because we put in some hacks. Why would you think I want to open something in a weird location that no one cares about? Uh, let's open the thing in the location that I always open things from. How about that one? How about that one? Sound okay? Alright, um, so what are the hacks here? Uh, oh, I have it hacked to the uh, env name. Always goes to... Oh no, wait, I must not have hacked that one, because... Uh, kept putting us in like weird places yeah okay i took out that hack uh end name uh oh yeah yeah, yeah. the broken ship hack i have that in like a bunch of places uh actually maybe i should test it no it's gonna work it's totally gonna work but i should test it anyways oh right, right, right. no there is one thing that's still not gonna work yeah all right so i should test it once i'm done all right well uh, yeah, the other thing that's that's not yet going to work but will work shortly is uh, the one where um, the one where uh, if we teleport, we or if we're about to, if we know we're going to teleport because of the end of the event, we should uh, we should be picking uh, yeah location yeah. So right now, okay, so we're saying location. Uh, All right, so uh, right. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out and put this up where uh, here, I guess. Location equals uh, env name. So if we do this init teleport thing, then we're also gonna say location location uh, equals uh, the the new location, the the place that we're teleporting to. Um, because if, uh, if we're teleporting, uh, then if we're picking, oh, wait a second, if outcome in chains, oh, yeah, yeah, no, okay, wait, wait we can't put this here, actually, now that I think about it, because this is not a, uh, oh, yeah, also we can get rid of this else print outcome jumps, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, no, this is not supposed to be just in case of chains, right? Because, like, as we as we covered, like, you can jump even if there's no chain. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, but... Oh, okay, wait, so I guess we have to do this before, because this is else case to that. Yeah, I've done that before. I accidentally, like, unindent something, and therefore, uh, change the definition of an else case. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so so we set the location, and then we might change the location. So then uh, we the reason we were setting the location at all is because uh, depending on the environment phase, uh, we sometimes want to tweak it in a different way. So this in this case we only we only do this though if uh, if uh, location equals env name because if it's changed already. Uh, then we don't want to we don't want to change it again. So if location equals end name and end phase, all right. Uh, and then yeah yeah yeah. So this way, uh, so yeah I, again I should test this. Uh, uh, I I um. <laughs> uh, I'll get rid of this cheat because this. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this works. Okay. So what should happen is we should. Uh, so the first event will be broken ship, again. Like I said, there are plenty. Wait. What? Oh. Uh, wait. No. Not this one. Close. Close all. Uh, yeah. Run this one. Uh, so 
Yeah, activate away mode. Uh, so we should teleport to the river, and it should be broken ship. And so we repair the broken ship. Uh, and... Uh, and... Uh, so now we should... Now once we repair the broken ship, we should actually teleport onto the ship. Hypothetically. I mean, we should have from the first place, but now we should actually... Now I, I'm not being a silly person, and it should actually work. Should be the difference. Wouldn't that be lovely? Um, <laughs> so um, then the other thing I want to test is the. Uh, so after we repair the ship, let's get lost at sea, if you guys wouldn't mind. Um, so. The way we do, cause yeah, cause the other the other the other thing I want to test is the. Uh, well, I mean, I guess they're actually both valid test cases. Um, do I want to test both? No, the the uh, no, I the booty we don't we don't need to test that 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 one we didn't like that one that one actually worked apart from the fact that we didn't teleport to the pirate ship in the first place the rest of the booty quest would have worked. So. That's fine. We can we can just leave that as it is. Uh, all right. So at the end of this event, uh, wonderful things will happen. Uh, gold pieces will rain from the heavens. Uh, not really. No, we're get, we're gonna get lost at sea. So uh, I don't care if we batten or hoist, but we can't do the other. So uh, for the next event, if we could. If we could all team up again and all do the same thing, it doesn't matter. Hey, uh, E4 E470, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter which of the uh, the two we team up to do, but as long as we all all work together on uh, on either battening or hoisting, then uh, then that will get us lost at sea. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, look at that. Maiden Voyage. Maiden Voyage. Ah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So that's good. That's nice. That's just pleasant. Just lovely, I say. Um, Alright, so... Uh, yeah, so if I activate away mode again... Uh, it will, it'll give us, uh, it'll give us what? It'll give us, uh, oh, excuse me. It'll give us the, uh, the, the, the pirate ship quest. Whoa. Wait, why is, oh, whoa. Your stars are actually indoors with you. Your star actually goes in. <laughs> Cause like we all have these gold or some of us have these gold stars now. I thought it. I thought that blit last. But it, oh, okay. I might actually want to change that because that's kind of ugly. Uh yeah, like when you walk into the door, like it kind of gets crugged up by the uh, how the door is broken. Yeah, I'll probably want to. I'll probably want to blit that later. Later on. Uh, huh. Which is a little awkward, but. I can, I can I can handle that. It's not the worst thing in the world. Cause name tags don't play underneath stuff, so I can do it when I do name tags. Like I can do it in that whole, in that whole situation. All right. Uh, so that's easy enough. All right. So yeah. So let's uh, let's get lost at sea now. Uh, so, drifts on rocky seas. Hoist the mizzen. Remember, we can do exactly one. We can do exactly one. I'm just gonna whoever chooses one. Let's all do what that person chooses. So. Whoever whoever feels like choosing first, let's uh, let's all do what that person does. I can choose first if that's if that's helpful. Uh, all right, let's let's all batten. It's batten practice. <laughs> let's all batten. Yeah, batten. Go team batten. <laughs> um. Those hatches won't know what hit them. <laughs> uh, um, doop -ba -doop. So, yeah, so the, the reason I want to test this is because uh, 
this is another case. So at the, yeah, so the, the crash that we got before, the crash that we got before is because there are no events actually on the pirate ship. Uh, there are, there are no, st oh, so, okay. So the, every event in this game is either a starter or a non-starter. When we randomly choose events, we are randomly choosing from the starters. Uh, the non-starters, uh, the non-starters are, uh, the ones that happen in, in quest chains. So for example, the, um, the pirate ship itself is a non-starter. We never spontaneously find us ourselves on this pirate ship. Uh, we, we end up on the pirate ship when we find a broken pirate ship and we repair it. Um, so the, the, so there are no, there are no starters on the pirate ship. Uh, the, like, so the reason the game crashed earlier is because we were on the pirate ship and it was trying to look for the next random event. We had finished our quest chain. And it was trying to find a random one. Um, <laughs> um, and it just, it, it was like, why can't I, like, does not compute, cannot find, uh, cannot find, uh, quests. Uh, and, uh, it wasn't actually supposed to be looking on the pirate ship, though. Because, apart from the fact that the teleport commands were not working, uh, it was looking for, uh, it, so, like, you're right, at the end of the event, we queue up the teleport, but the teleport doesn't actually happen until the next frame. So, what we set it up now to do, hopefully, uh, yay, we got lost. <laughs> We're lost at sea. Yay. <laughs> um, so, what, uh, what we want to do now is, uh, yeah, and so this event, uh, this event we can do either one. It doesn't really matter what we do. Yeah. Wait, let me, I'm pretty sure we can do whatever. I'm pretty sure the outcome doesn't matter. Uh, compasses, yeah, because it's event type zero, so one of these is going to happen, and no matter which outcome we get, it's going to put us back at the river. Uh, and, and then we're going to do one more event after that, because after, uh, after we end up at the river, um, we, uh, it should pick a random event from the river, because we've set it up now so that it doesn't just go by our current environment, it, uh, we now anticipate if we're going to teleport, and if we're going to teleport, then we should be picking from our teleport destination instead. Uh, that was the location business that we set up right at the end there. And, uh, <laughs> um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, so, so we'll know it works if, like, so what are some of the other river events? It doesn't actually have to be a river event. It might be that, um, because we're in away mode, uh, we're going to be teleporting a bit. So, um, it could be that Okay, that's different. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is it saying? Cannot find BG's ship. Okay. Why did you try and do that? Why did you try and do this? And next name? No. Oh, equals blank. Yeah. End destination. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. No, this was the other thing. Uh, it didn't actually pick a river event. When we landed back at the river, it picked... Uh, Oh, interesting. It didn't pick a river event, which I think it probably should. It should probably just pick a river event. Uh, I actually anticipated this, sort of. I, I, I knew that this was a possibility. Because when we choose an event for a location, we don't just choose from that location. We also choose from locations to which it could validly transition. So it didn't pick a river event. It took, it, it so, like, mostly worked, as far as I can tell. Uh... But what it what it what it tried to do was instead of picking the river event, it tried to pick uh, like either a mountain event or no a uh, river. It either tried to pick a a forest event or a village event, and then because the teleport hadn't actually processed yet, it tried to um, wait. Why didn't the teleport process yet?
Well, I don't know why the teleport hadn't processed yet. That's weird. But I, it also doesn't matter hugely. Because, uh... Well, no, maybe I do want to support this. Why hadn't the teleport processed yet? I mean, this, uh... So what was happening is, um... Like, so I told the, uh, I told the, uh, the quest selection to, you know, take into account the fact that we're about to teleport, but it was, uh, so normally when, um, so when we, uh, so when we, when we pick a, an event from another d uh, location, not our current location, um, we start the transition process. And so it crashed because it was, it was trying to figure out how to transition from the ship to another uh environment but it can't because there's no transitions between the ship and, and any other environments um why why did this evaluate bef i would have because we're inserting the teleport at the very front of the stack i would have expected uh i would have expected uh the uh the teleport to process first before actually this frame and i honestly i didn't expect this frame to process for another like 10 seconds like usually the <clears throat> usually the uh i don't know the way i had it timed out like i didn't think uh i didn't think it was supposed to actually uh hmm i i didn't i didn't actually expect it to uh to even try this or maybe i did What is it? N frame equaled zero or equaled 960. That seems like a terrible coincidence. Huh. Weird. So do I want to support that? I mean, it could just be that I don't support it. And uh, that might just be the easier thing to do. I don't know. Well, so, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to make it so that if you, yeah, so in the case that um, you've just teleported to a location, uh, I'm just going to make it so that you, instead of picking from adjacent uh, quest areas, you, you, you pick from the, the just local quests. Because um, you just got there. There's no reason to leave in a hurry. You, the reason I, like, I was, I was a little back and forth on that is that you get, you, you get deposited at the river after the pirate ship and you got on the pirate ship at the river so i mean hypothetically one thing that could happen is that you could get on the pirate ship sail about the seas land back at the river and then get right back on the pirate ship again that's hypothetically something that can happen uh but that that actually doesn't change anything like that, that can happen in, in either system so yeah that's not yeah okay uh, so right now, if env name, if env next name, oh, right. Wait, what's that? Was it was it was it? If next, if env next name not equals blank. Wait a second. Not equals blank means we are transitioning. Oh, wait, so I put this in the wrong place. Because I don't actually need this here. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, this is meaningless. I think. No, I guess not. No, I guess that could still be pertinent. That would be in the case where... Yeah, I... I whatever. That could be relevant someday. Um, so... Do, so what do I want to do here? So in the else case, this is the one that I hadn't accommodated. And this is actually the one that I evaluated. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, because we did fix the usage of location. Uh, 
what we didn't fix was so if uh where's the uh env events env events oh we we, we referenced it a few times oh yeah okay uh oh ah uh, Yeah, what we want to do here is basically, uh, oh, yeah, oh, interesting, oh, okay, wait, so maybe actually, so, uh, yeah, no, the difference is, the, is, is this here, uh, so, like, this env events is just the local quests, whereas env events is local quests plus the adjacent quests, so, uh, so I guess what I want to do actually is I just want to say if uh, if 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 env name not equals uh, something or uh, or uh, location not equals env name. Uh, so I guess it's a little silly to do the exact opposite conditionals right back to back, like if not equals if equals, but whatever whatever whoa l location no location uh oh wow nam <laughs> end of nam how did i get the e on the wrong side that was impressive uh <laughs> wow uh okay so that should be fun so then if uh if location not equals environment name, meaning we're about to teleport, then we pick locally. All right, so that should be fun. Uh, I'm glad I tested that instead of deciding that everything would be super fine and not testing it. Oh, sorry. Um, so, uh. Probably test this again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you guys think? You got you up for another boat ride? Uh, one more boat ride, and then then uh, how are we doing on our list of stuff to do? Yeah, I should I should test this one more time. Sorry, sorry for anyone who gets who's been getting a little seasick. But uh. uh the good news for you folks is that this quest comes up very infrequently, so it, it'll actually be relatively quite rare to uh, to uh, actually encounter the uh, the pirate ship. I I'm, I mean now that I have the pirate ship, like once I start writing quests again, I'll I'll probably want to make more quests that can happen on the pirate ship. Um, like specifically, like right now, it just happens that. Uh, there's a quest. There's there's one quest chain involving the pirate ship. It puts you on the pirate ship. You're either on there for one or two quests, and then it spits you back out. So instead, I'll probably want to, I'll want quests that put you onto the pirate ship, and then I'll want quests that can happen on the pirate ship, and then I'll want quests that can spit you off the pirate ship again. Uh, yeah. Or like quests where you're on the pirate ship and then you go onto land and then it, you go back onto the pirate ship or something. Um, I don't know. It's basically like this is basically like the first expansion pack for, uh, for for uh, for side quest, right? It's like, like you know, games will like, you know, they'll have like a thing, and then like, they add in an expansion that has like a new thing, right? They like it does it does some it has a twist on like the old thing, and so they like they really go for it. They really like you know now all of a sudden there's this whole. There's this whole other section, like part. There's this whole other part of the game that like involves this thing. I think like the. I feel like the pirate ship is kind of that thing. Like now we can get a pirate ship sometimes, and uh, when you get a pirate ship, you you hang on to that pirate ship. You hang on for for dear life <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um. I should write quests that they can that the quest chains can be broken at any time, and maybe I do. I guess betrayal is the is the one case where breaking the quest chain is not polite. 
Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I was just thinking betrayal. It's not polite to break betrayal. It's actually not very polite to break Dragon Hall either. So I might want to change how I do bonus quests. Because, like, it's like one thing that I haven't been, uh, uh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know Protoswasm. That's actually what I was just thinking about, uh, is, like, being a real GM for the game. Um, uh, because, yeah, I've been working a lot on the automated system because it's, it became cl very clear to me at a certain point, like, how important the automated system will be. Um, and the thing about that, though, is that I want... Um, oh, yeah, okay, can we, uh, can we, like, sabotage the ship again? Uh, I assume stuff's been working correctly so far. I actually haven't been paying attention. I assume, because, like, I'm, I'm assuming we didn't introduce any, uh, in, didn't introduce any new bugs. Uh, sorry, I dragged the thing, and it made the delayed frames. Oh, I haven't fixed the stars yet. Alright, so while we're waiting for, while we're waiting to get lost at sea, I'll fix the stars. Uh, basically, it just has to happen at name tag time instead of at, uh, it has to happen directly before the name tag, uh, rather than directly after the character, or whenever it is happening now. Uh, so, uh, where is that? Oh, it's much higher up. I don't know why I scrolled down to the bottom. I think I was scrolled down to the bottom. All right, so right now, it happens here. Uh, uh, hoist. Hoist is the, uh, the word of the day is hoist. Uh, get with it. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, wait, so where is it? It's, uh, it's like energy. Where's the energy business? Uh, ener energy. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, so, yeah, right now we're just doing it here, which we shan't. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we shan't, we shall do it instead, uh, do, 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 where, uh, where do name tags happen? They happen at the top of the environment, right? Yeah, here, here it is. So it'd be right, uh, so for LI and parade, uh, it's just like this, right? I can just plop this right in here and then everything will magically work perfectly, I hope. Uh. So, if player dict parade, oh, it's not parade, uh, oh, it's not parade I anymore, it's for, it's, it's L-I. Uh, yeah, yeah, demon shark. Demon shark. Hey, Binary Bot leveled up. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alright, so for, uh, for player dictionary L-I, right, that's how we, yeah, that's how we reference it here. For player dictionary L-I. Uh, all right, and yeah, this is another. We can do whatever because it doesn't. It doesn't really matter what the uh, what we choose for this quest. Uh, uh, energy art. Okay, so EI. Oh, uh, hold on. Wait, let's let's light these up. Actually, let's light up uh, this because uh, this is what we have to replace with uh, uh, EI. Or L-I, sorry, L-I. Uh, is that all? Yeah, 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 All right, so that should that should work now. So now these stars, uh, the stars draw on top of the environment. So, uh, yeah. Uh, save that. And then, uh, that should be good, I guess. Hold on, let me just double check. Uh, and am I, I'm pretty sure I can use that here. Oh, Anim, I... No, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because it's... It's actually the same one both times. Uh... So... Yeah. Uh... Um, cool. I don't have to test that on the pirate ship. Uh... Because if it... If it works, it'll work everywhere. If it's broken, it'll, it'll be broken everywhere. So... 
I don't have to... It was occurring to me, like, oh, maybe I should test it on the pirate ship, because, like, the stars are indoors, and... I mean, it'd be kind of cute if the star actually could go indoors with you, and, and it would work that way, but it'd just be... A, it'd just be too much of a pain to try and 